Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question 5 of the Hamilton Olympiad 2021. Find all real numbers x, y and z such that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to x minus z, which is equal to 2. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. Take the x minus z is equal to 2. Square both sides. What do you get? And what can you do with this? Hint number two. Remember that squares cannot be negative. So for example, a squared has to be zero or greater than zero. Can you use this fact to help you find an upper or lower bound for a certain expression? Hint number three. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus x squared minus 2xz plus z squared is equal to 2 minus 4. We can simplify this to get y squared plus 2xz equal to minus 2, or y squared is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus xz. Now, y squared is a square, and so it's non-negative. What does this tell us about 1 plus xz? Hint number four. In 1 plus xz, we can substitute x with z plus 2. We will then get a quadratic inequality, which we can factorise nicely. Solution. So we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to x minus z equals 2. We can take the x minus z equal to 2 and square both sides to get x squared minus 2xz plus z squared is equal to 4. Now we can take this and subtract that from x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 2 to get y squared plus 2xz equal to 2 minus 4 which is equal to minus 2 and we can rewrite that as y squared is equal to minus 2 minus 2xz which is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus xz. Now since y squared is a square, it cannot be negative, so it's 0 or above. And so minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus xz is also at least 0. And because minus 2 is negative, then 1 plus xz must be 0 or also negative to get the expression to be greater or equal to 0. And so 1 plus xz is less than or equal to 0. Now substituting x with 2 plus z, we get 1 plus z multiplied by 2 plus z is less than or equal to 0. We expand this to get z squared plus 2z plus 1, which is the same as z plus 1 squared, is less than or equal to 0. But z plus 1 squared is also a square, and we know a square cannot be negative. But we also know that z plus 1 squared cannot be positive, and so it must be 0, which gives us z plus 1 is equal to 0, and so z is minus 1.
then x is 2 plus z, which is 1, and we get y squared equal to 0, and so y equals 0. Now checking the values x, y, z, 1, 0, minus 1, with the initial equations, we find that this is a valid solution. And so that's our answer. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.